What up, guys? Beautiful December, man. It's like 70 degrees right now. So it just finished raining, and I'm going to blow this property off. Doesn't have a lot of leaves. Hope you can see it. I'm gonna just go ahead and blow that off. Put it right there in the in between bushes or whatever. Blow that in there. And um, let me ask you a quick question. Do you guys give your dealer mechanics like a token of your appreciation? I do. Well, we do. So this year, instead of donuts, because everybody buys donuts, we got some Snickers. So give one to the sales department and another bag to the maintenance department. And, you know, just a quick token of our appreciation, man, you know. So, so think about it, man, before the year is over or, you know, whenever you get a chance because you may say, dag, man, that's it. Just a little bag of candy. Believe me, how many people, honestly, give these guys anything or even think about them? You know, they're the ones that keep our stuff running and, and, and take care of it so we can make that money, right? Yeah, it's their job, but giving them a little token can kind of remind them, hey, man, this is blaze of grass stuff. These guys were the only ones that gave me something this year. You know, I remember those chocolates. Let me go ahead and take care of this stuff real quick, right? Hey, think about it, man. Tip, tip. All right, let's get hot. How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Johnny, with Blaze Grass Lawn Care. So basically, this is a two-week cleanup that we usually do, and we come in here every two weeks and kind of knock it out, just kind of, you know, make the property look real nice for the uh, customer. Now, they don't have a specific way that they want the property to be uh, clean, so, which is, you know, normally what we do with most of our customers. They kind of leave it up to us. And, you know, like anything else, the end goal is to make sure that the property looks good once you leave. So, we utilize different ways to clean these uh, bi-weekly winter properties, and sometimes we just blow it all into the bushes you know and make it look real nice and pristine because this is a, uh, a subdivision which has a uh, HOA and you know sometimes we'll just mulch it up depending on, on, on the weather like today for instance I didn't want to mulch because it was uh, kind of wet out there so I just went out there and kind of just blew everything into the bushes and, uh, and sometimes you know I just come out and just bag it just for the heck of it you know no like I said, guys, you know, each property will give you certain ways of how you want to actually tackle the cleanup. So with these bi-weekly properties, again, it depends on how we feel. Now, this is centipede grass. So centipede grass is, it goes dormant at this time of the year. So again, it, it, it will not grow, not even a little bit. As a matter of fact, it's gonna start getting uh, going dormant more and more right now it looks a little bit green just a little bit is because uh, it just rained and is in the process of going dormant now because of weather man I'm telling you the weather's crazy um, today is 70 tomorrow is supposed to be like 72 I mean it's supposed to get up to like 70 I mean to uh, 80s um, in the next couple of days but it's been raining a lot so it's been keeping us kind of stagnated on, on certain tasks that we want to take on and uh, on this property right here all we do is maintain the turf area we are not trimming the shrubs we are not cleaning out the plant beds uh, we fertilize whenever the customer requests it because they are pretty uh, they're retired and uh, they're they're hands-on uh, people individuals so they want to uh, be in their yard doing this and that and uh, they have a lot of vines also, so I kind of <laughs> like dealing with vines, depending on, you know, the little periwinkles. They have a whole bunch of periwinkles and, on different beds, and you guys know how things grow in between the periwinkles, and it, it, it's a little bit tedious trying to clean that stuff out. But, nevertheless, uh, we are maintaining the turf right now, but whenever they actually need uh, something to be done, all they have to do is basically let us know, and we definitely uh, accommodate our customers. So 
so far guys um i'm loving where we're loving the br800 let me tell you guys it's night and day i love the power i love the way it feels um it's not heavy it looks heavy but it is it's not heavy i can't wait to try it out as a matter of fact i will keep two of them in my uh, enclosed trailer when we get out there in the spring and even throughout the, uh, the mowing season because I love that you know you're, you're getting all that power and it's again you know you might say you know oh man you know but it's less steps that you have to take and it is doing it is, it is pushing a lot at one single swipe so that's gonna come in real, real really handy when it comes to uh, blowing off the uh, driveway and sidewalks now the only thing of, of course you know you're gonna have to kind of bring down the throttle when it comes to uh, you know pushing stuff out the plant beds but you know we have other blowers that we'll bring for a specific tasks like those. So what we do is basically we'll keep blowing all the leaves and kind of hide them inside the bushes and stuff, you know, all the way in the back. You know, take an extra uh, five, ten minutes to just kind of make sure that it looks kind of natural. That's the way I kind of like to leave it, make it look a little bit natural. This way the customer will come out and not see a whole wall full of leaves on the uh, perimeter of his property. So. That to me makes uh, it leaves a better impression on the whole uh, property once you're finished, like it looks there. so here it is this is the final look at the property and this is the way we leave the location and I must say it looks extremely extremely nice and as you can tell everything is dressed right dress looking nice nice corner lot and uh, the customer loves it basically he came out and told us how great it looked, which, you know, I mean, not to boast a bride, but it always looked good once we leave it. <clears throat> All right, guys, so that is the uh, final product. One man, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm telling you guys, equipment makes a difference. Don't let anyone fool you equipment does make a difference um, compared to the 600 which is a, an exceptionally well-built machine and I love it and I utilize it um, last uh, last season this uh, 800 is awesome came out here did this got it over with this would have took me I would say at least 20 30 percent longer with the uh, 600 I know that for a fact okay
mission accomplished. Everybody happy? I'm telling you, that's the way to do it, guys. Pop smoke. Peace.